Hello, and welcome to Miss Rose's Book Suggestions, Part 5. Remember, these ebooks can be found on Hoopla.com. By simply using your library card, you can either sign up or log in to access these books. Enjoy! Our first book is called Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. First published in 1866, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is author Robert Louis Stevenson's classic tale of man's inner struggle between good and evil. The novella revolves around the investigation by London lawyer Gabriel John Utterson concerning the association between his old friend Dr. Jekyll and the evil, morally corrupt Edward Hyde, to whom Jekyll has recently willed his estate. Through the use of a magic potion, Dr. Jekyll, who nurtured a belief that every person has two distinct personalities, is transformed into Mr. Hyde. In order to indulge in the darker side of his character without any consequences besmirching Jekyll's good name, after some time, Jekyll finds that he is involuntarily turning into Hyde and must use the magic serum, which is running low in order to turn back. Our next book is called The Paper Bag Princess. When the fiercest dragon in the whole world smashes Princess Elizabeth's castle, burns all her clothes, and captures her fiance, Prince Ronald, Elizabeth takes matters into her own hands. With her wits alone and nothing but a paper bag to wear, the princess challenges the dragon to show his strength in the hopes of saving the prince. But is it worth all that trouble? Our next book is called Right Beside You. With a successful career, money in the bank, and a solid future, Felicia Hawkins has almost everything she ever wanted. But getting married is the one holiday wish she cannot seem to get. And it's not helping that she's hopelessly in love with her co-worker, widower Richard Grimes. They have the perfect office partnership, and he's as supportive as he is kind. But Felicia doesn't want to wreck their friendship by letting him know how she really feels. Richard has his hands full juggling pre-Christmas work demands and raising two teen daughters. But he's not too busy to wish his relationship with Felicia could become much more. He's drawn to her calm spirit and determination along with everything they surprisingly have in common. And just once, he'd like a chance this season to dare to tell her the truth. But what Felicia and Richard get instead is a cascade of misunderstandings, messy, well-meaning matchmaking from family and friends, and a long-distance transfer Richard cannot refuse. Finally, in the middle of one chaotic snow-struck day, it will take all their courage and compassion to risk opening their hearts to each other, hopefully for many more holiday happily ever afters. Our next book is called Now Voyager. Olive Higgins Purity's 1941 novel Now Voyager provides an even richer, deeper portrayal of the inner life of its protagonist and the society she inhabits. Viewed from a distance of more than 60 years, it also offers fresh and quietly radical takes on psychiatric treatment, traditional family life, female desire, and woman's agency. Boston Blue Blood, Charlotte Vale, has led an unhappy, sheltered life. Dowdy, repressed, and pushing 40, Charlotte finds salvation in an unlikely form of a nervous breakdown, placing her at a sanitarium where she undergoes treatment to rebuild her ravaged self-esteem and uncover her true intelligence and, and charm. And last book is called, I Know This Much Is True. I Know This Much Is True, a heartbreaking, poignant, multi-generation saga of the productive bonds of destruction and a powerful force of forgiveness. A masterpiece that breathtakingly tells the story of alienation and connection, power and abuse, devastation and renewal. This novel is a contemporary retelling of an ancient Hindu myth. A proud king must confront his demons to achieve salvation. Change yourself, the myth instructs, and you will inhabit a reno renovated world. 
thank you for listening to Ms. Rose's book suggestions. Happy reading. Enjoy.